I'm back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Straight From The Hip. I'm your host, Dr. Clairvoyant Rashawn Jackson, three-time national champ at the University of Nebraska, 1994, 95, and 97. Michigan State week. Before I do that, let's uh, give a 10-second pause for my uncle, uh, one of the first African-American police officers on the force, um, Isaiah Jackson Jr. Um, with that being said, it's Michigan State Week. It's Michigan State Week. Listen, nothing in the past matters. The past, whatever you think you got going, past does not matter. Okay? It's Michigan State Week. Just in case you forgot, whoever the teams we played in the past, we don't even care anymore because it's Michigan State Week. Started the Big Ten. It's harder in the Big Ten than it is in the Big 12. Michigan State Week. Michigan State Week. They're going to play you. They're explosive. They're well-coached, disciplined football players. What you do speak so loud you have you don't have to over open your mouth. But I feel like we should listen to something. We are our goal is to play physical, hard nosed football, fundamentally sound, be in great shape, play smart, you know, be situationally sound, you know, be be disciplined. And play fast because we know what we're doing, and, and be play physical. Fast. I mean, that's you know that's our that's our goal. That's be physical. That's, I mean, that every single day we talk about that, and we celebrate that and show examples of that. And then when we don't get that, then we confront and demand that we do get that those things because that's what gives you a chance to win football games. You know, at any level. And at so any level. What comes with that, you know, you expect the players to play with confidence. I smell Tucker. Speaking uh, before, this is the Nebraska week, of course. This is press conference. He's at a press conference about 41 minutes. He was there answering questions and um, just giving us a synopsis. It was really amazing interview. He's probably one of the coaches that I, of uh, all the coaches I really want to see, I, I would love to just see what he says and just be around him because he's he's borderline amazing. I mean, when I say borderline, he is amazing. He's an amazing coach and motivator. Um, the tail of the tape. Let's get right to it, okay? Stats. Sometimes people say stats matter. Sometimes people say stats don't matter. But this is my TyroneBird.com tell of the tape. Rushing offense. We, Nebraska, 201 yards. Michigan State's averaging about 263 yards per game. Passing offense, us, 280 yards. Uh, passing offense for uh, Michigan State, 256 yards. Uh, pass efficiency, 166. Michigan State 173. What pass efficiency is, is how efficient are you when you do pass to complete it, the pass. Uh, so total yards, Nebraska is averaging about 481 a game. Michigan State's averaging about 520 a game. Pretty, pretty evenly matched, give or take a few yards. Um, the thing that stands out to me. It's 263 rushing yards that they average to our 201, which, again, might be a little bit skewed. I like the two, but but both are very very balanced. Um, let's just keep going on that on this rushing defense or scoring offense. We average 29.5. Michigan State averages 39.3. 
Rushing defense. Uh, we give up 156 yards per game. Michigan State gives up 112. Pass defense. Take note. We give up 190 yards per game. Michigan State gave, gives up 269 yards per game. Ding, 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 ding. We might have to throw the ball to win this game. Because they're big up front. They're physical up front. They're well coached up front. They're disciplined up front. They're explosive up front. And they're in shape. According to the coach. Okay, here's where it gets ugly. After I tell you scoring defense. Scoring defense, we average about 15.8. They average 17.3. In total defense, we, we give up 346 yards to them giving up 381 yards, which is about 100 off of our average. Here's where it gets ugly. And I just had to, I didn't want to go through defense because I was looking like, oh, really? Net punting. 36 yards for us. The ranking on that is 106. Their net punting is 39.8. The ranking is, is 64. Now, that's not a lot. That's only 3.8 yards, but it's a diff big difference when you talk. It's almost 44 points different. Because um, football is a, a game of inches. But punt return, we're averaging 1.5 yards per punt return. That's not going to get it done. And that is unacceptable for any college football team, high school team, to average 1.5 yards. We have to get this changed around. We are ranked 112th in punt returns. Not going to work. Uh, they, they're they getting 11.3 uh, a, a return, ranked 38th in the country. Kickoff return, we're averaging 16.25, which ranks us 104th. They're, rank, they're getting 22 yards, which ranks them 46. Turnover margin, where uh, it says zero, which would rank a 70. And so basically that's even, like you're not coming out ahead. If you get, if they get, we give up two turnovers, uh, we get two turnovers. So it's a zero, whereas you want to be plus, you know, uh, Michigan State's plus one in the turnover game. Um, why do I say all of that? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think, listen, any given Saturday, anybody can beat anybody. On any given Saturday, anybody has a puncher's chance if you come to play. Let me give you another. Uh, Coach Mel Tucker. It's important to our players and some of our, our former players in the band. It's important for us, to, for us to connect our current players and our staff um, with our former players um, because tradition is is a big part of your culture. Tradition is a big part of your culture. Your foundation. And so um, as much as we can connect, because I'm really big on connection, as much as we connect, as much as we can do that, um, I believe that the stronger program we're going to have, and the, the, the stronger the, the, it, it strengthens our culture, um, because we want to build something that is that is um, has staying power. That you know, year in and year out, you know what you're going to get, um, and um, you know. Someone brought up Wisconsin, you know, early when I was there, you know, with Coach R. Resin's first recruiting class in the world, one in ten, five or six. I went a little bit overboard, but the point was he was embracing the former players and connecting the, the current players with the former players. Enough on that. TyroneBird.com, y'all. Get, get all your insurance needs. TyroneBird.com. Get the black shirt coverage that you deserve. TyroneBird.com servicing Arizona, Nebraska, and Colorado. TyroneBird.com. Now, something that's going to be a problem for us is going to be the fan noise, crowd noise. Okay? Fans will be a problem. So you have to learn how to take the fans 
out of the game. You know how you do that? By scoring first. My TyroneBird.com, seven keys to victory. Meaning, this is what we need to do in order to win the game. Number one, be the hammer, not the nail. Think about that. Be the hammer, not the nail. Do the hitting. I've never seen a nail hit a hammer. If you have, let me know. Hey, y'all hit the like button. Share it. Subscribe to your boy, man. We coming, man. We 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 and we're gonna be more than just football. It's gonna be we just gonna talk. Life stuff. Although I love Go Big Red. So number two. On the TyroneBird.com, seven keys to victory. Black shirts have to stop Walker the third. This guy's averaging 8.6 yards per carry. He's one of the he's probably one of the best running backs that we'll face all year. Um, hard nose. You can tell he's coached well. He he uh he has great balance, he has great vision, he is a cutback king. He uh, can get downhill. He's got he's got great body leverage, body lean. We're gonna have to hit him. We're gonna have to wrap him up. He runs through tackles. We gotta hit him. We gotta wrap him up. We gotta gang tackle him. We are gonna be in a dog fight. Who's heard of the term woodshed? If you haven't heard of the woodshed, let me explain it to you. East Lansing, their stadium, they they they've coined it the woodshed. So what do you know about the woodshed? I'm going to take you out there to the woodshed and whoop your arse. So they're talking about this woodshed as if this is what they're going to do to us. Port your butts off. They did a great job this week. Okay, you, we've gone through it. Okay, we know what this is all about. We talked about it all week. Okay? You have to put your out there on the line for the man next to you. That's what you got to do. You got to play for your teammate, and he's got to play for you. That's what this is all about, man. Football is the ultimate team sport. It's the greatest team game. Okay, I have always believed in you guys. Okay, I believe we have a great football team. I believe we're going to go out here and win. Okay? But what do we got to do to get it done? What do we got to do? We got to run. Okay? We got to hit. We got to be desperate. We, I mean, we got to run through chin straps. That's what we got to do. Run through okay? chin straps. For 60 minutes, four quarters in the game. It's time to go off. It's time to go. We're ready to explode. Defense. It's time, baby. Let's go. It's your boy Mel again. Got me fired up a little bit. Got me fired up. And so I if you gotta you gotta be able to match that energy. We gotta be able to match them in by that energy that because a lot of times as players we take on our head coach's personality. And I can tell you right now, this is gonna be the best team that we faced all year, including Oklahoma. Oklahoma's not very I don't believe, I don't believe that Oklahoma is better than Michigan State. I don't believe that, that the number three ranking that they have is better than Michigan State. I could be wrong, but I don't believe it. And so we better be ready to come out and strike first and be the hammer, not the nails, and the black shirts have got to stop Walker the third. We've got to hit this little guy in the mouth, and we got to hit him early, we got to hit him often, and we got to make him feel the pain. Number three, don't give up big plays. This is a big play offense. They like using play action. They, they, they come out in multiple sets. They'll get underneath the center. We have got to be able to limit the big plays. Period. Number four, no dumb penalties. Let's not shoot ourselves in the feet, in the foot. Let's make sure that the dumb penalties that 
we has played our entire season this year does not rear its ugly head again. Knowing that you're going into hostile environment, you're not going to get the calls that you think you may get. You're not going to get them. So don't ask for them. Don't beg for them. Know that you got to play Michigan State and the refs. If you go into it that way, you already know what you got to fight. Don't shoot yourself in the, foot, in the foot. No dumb penalties. Number five, special teams has got to show up. We cannot be averaging 1.5 yards on punt returns, netting 36 yards on punt, kickoff return 16.25 yards. That is not good look right there, y'all. That is the bottom of the barrel. We have got to get it turned around. Everybody in the room, coaches, players, everybody included, have got to accept responsibilities for special teams because it's good for 7 to 14 points every game. Thanks, Coach Osborne. Period. Number six, A Mark. I say A Mark because he got his own shopping center, baby. He got all types of different. Moves, flavors, tools, bagels, washer dryers. He got the whole gambit. And I think he's on his way to being great. But he's got to continue to facilitate the game. Continue to make smart decisions. He had a couple decisions that he could have made in the last game that might have um, helped us to, to, to get a win. We're going to have to score in this game. Offense wins games. Defense wins championships. We have to score. It's the only how we get it done. It's got to be a shootout. 45 to 41. Something like that. It's the only how it's going to get it done. That's it. Got to be a shootout. And, and Amart has got to facilitate. He's got to make smart decisions. He's got to encourage his teammates. He's got to be the leader that every quarterback should be and, 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 and what he need, would be. But now is the time. Big Ten time. Game's going to get a little bit harder. The fight's going to be a little bit stronger. Number seven. Quiet down the woodshed. Which says it's their fan base. It's their fan base. Got to quiet it down. How you quiet it down is you be the hammer, not the nail. You score first. You smack a person in the mouth within the constraints of the game. You keep smacking them in the mouth after you smack them once. You smack them again. You smack them a third or fourth time. You smack them in control the line of scrimmage. You smack them in and, and you you uh you you control uh, the rushing. We have got to rush over a hundred yards as a running back unit in order to win this game. And there will not be a three man front that is going to be in front of you. You're going to see four, five, six, and seven in the box all day long. I don't think. That Michigan State is going to let Amar beat us. He doesn't, they don't want to anyway. So I think they may have not a spy, but somebody that might attack. I don't know. All I'm saying is we have to be ready to go. We have to be hitting on all cylinders. We have to limit the mistakes. We have to run harder than we ever ran, ran before. We have to tackle harder than we ever tackled. We have to be sure tacklers. We have to be more disciplined than we ever been disciplined. So every game we're getting better and better. Team that can't be beat won't be beat because we got better and better and better and better and better and better. It's time. It's time we had a, a significant win that we put a whole complete game together. We come together as brothers. We come together as men. We come together in the ultimate team sport. The ultimate team game. Football. 100 and some team members. 11 on offense, 11 on defense that can play. 11 on special teams that can play. Yet you need all them people on that team to make this go around. Now's the time 
for us to upset a team that they want to beat the tar out of us. Believe me. They want to beat us up. And if they get a chance to put on the gas on us, if we don't play well, if we don't act like we belong there, and we want to win the game worse than they want to win the game. Could be a long night. But if we have ball control, if we control the line of scrimmage, if we make smart decisions, if we score the big plays, we got to have two to three big plays on offense to win this game. Big plays is scoring, and that's 40 yards, plays of 40 yards or more. Got to have big plays. We got to limit their big plays. Keep them to one big play a game. We got to win the turnover battle. So, shout out to Jackson Takeout. Shout out to my Uncle Junior. Great man. 81 years old. Lived a long time. Lived, you know, 11 years past the promise, so think that's a great thing. But we got to continue to figure out our identity. I would love to see some options. Um, all we need to do is win, baby. All we need to do is win. Put the gas down, pedal to the metal, and let's get busy. For all y'all out there in Husker land, go be ready.